Hey everyone, Ben Williams here from Old Tin Cup and Hundred Proof Whitetails Podcast. Out here pulling some cards and uh, doing a little bit of food plot assessment. We've got some stuff going on uh, with a couple of these plots this year, so we're making a little bit of a game plan. I'm out running around between rain showers, uh, just on the old Kodiak side by side, and look at that, guys! First of the year, sitting right in the thing, and that is that's Lucky. That's Lucky's right side. He shed a little bit early this year, and actually, I thought he was gonna. Uh, be on the far side of the farm but that's Lucky's Lucky's right side and I passed him not too far over here so we got a good one he's got a little bit of a a rough looking pedicle so we're wondering if he's a he's a broken buck or or what he is um broke that brow tine hard too so that might have caused some uh, pedicle damage so we'll keep on him but he's got good mass real nice good buck three-year-old um I'm thinking but uh look at that guys Lucky <laughs> love it so yeah so we're talking about doing some stuff with these plots this one's going to go into cereal grain this coming year i'm just walk out here see if i can find a little little dink or something popped out on the trail and it was right down here in the bottom they slipped down through this bottom but i had a picture of them on the other side of the road with just uh just his left side so the other side um so obviously after you drop this one so that's really cool we're not shed hunting yet we still had a few holding he dropped early february on that right side so about a month ago um and yeah guys i'm gonna keep plugging get the rest of these cameras pulled see where we're at for shed bucks um but that's definitely a cool first find of the year lucky we're on the board guys on one deadhead with bear and then we got this this nice shed right here so thank you all for tuning into this video we're going to keep you posted with updates from different food plots different locations habitat wise what we're doing um this plot is going to probably have a tower put on it you can see it's nice low lush brassica with a lot of crimson clover in it um 100 proof kind of blend Similar to, I ran out of a couple varietals, but the baseline's pretty much the same. But this will be going back to a cereal grain next year because we got to rotate out our crops a little bit. So we're going to keep plugging, but it's really cool to find Lucky's right side. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. we got a couple couple nice up-and-comers uh, this year. No big, big ones to look for or anything like that, um, but some nice bucks. So really looking forward to it this year, guys. And uh, going to keep you guys posted with as much as we can along the way. But I got out for... Uh, about two and a half hours I get this afternoon. Uh, my sister's going to come help my wife, buy a new baby. So we got uh, we got a lot of stuff going on at home. So finally was able to get out for a couple hours to do this. So I'm pumped. We're on the board. And uh, we got right, Lucky's right side. Hopefully we can find the left and maybe a couple of these other up-and-comers for this year and future seasons. So again, guys, we'd love to hear your comments and feedback. Um, I apologize for the scheduling. The last two weeks we've had birth of our first daughter and then um, my wife had to go back in the hospital for a couple things a little blood pressure spike but we got that sorted out everybody's doing good baby's doing good wife's doing good and um, recovering and uh, now we're starting to flesh it out and we'll be doing the podcast with dad as promised two weeks ago we'll be doing it this week so thank you guys for tuning in and checking this out we'll catch you all next time out here in the field take care guys <laughs>